My understanding is some of them Ruskies are a little angry about the fact that old Vlad Putin's been acting like a fascist. And fascists have this thing about them. They don't like when people have guns. Not pulling mine out, just patting it. But fascists like to keep guns away from their people, make sure their people can't turn on the government. There's nothing that scares a fascist more than a person with a brain that has a gun. So, old Vlad Putin makes sure not too many people have guns out there, but the problem is, if you're looking for a country to invade when you need some water, where are you going to go? You're going to go to the fascists. You're going to let them go have their military fight an entire country that's invading that includes women. Seriously. Husband, wife, as long as they have a gun, send them. What are you going to do? You can, you'll never have the numbers, especially if you spread them out. Especially if you spread them out in urban populations. So, oh, Vlad, made some poor decisions in your time. One time, Vlad decided not to kill me. Some of his people thought it would be a good decision because I told Vlad, I said, uh, I'm going to kill you. He said, eh, it's too big of a deal. See, Vlad was afraid of me. Vlad didn't think about the fact that I'd, I'd, I'd be mad at him about the things he did in the past. All right, my understanding is Lee, Lee Strobel wants me to explain the whole Gnostic thing. Basically what happened, there were a group of people flew here from another planet. That planet was called Tropier, or at least the original planet was. I don't know if we jumped planet. I don't know. So basically, uh, we travel here. We set up shop. We know one thing. The Earth ain't going to last forever. Let's be real careful about how we do it. Uh, let's be smart about planning out these wars. We know World War III is going to happen. Let's have a little strategy behind it. Let's make sure Jesus exists. But more than anything, we need to have a way of consolidating wealth. And so uh, Rome was a way of consolidating wealth. Um, that was established by the Seleucids, who were the descendants of Alexander the Great. Um, okay, so basically, we needed a way to overthrow our descendants. And in order to do that, what we did was we created a religion that was spread through martyrdom. But we also were members of that church. We weren't martyring ourselves, obviously, but we were members of the early church. Um, so um, probably Cyril's letter uh, to the catechism written by me or us. Um, we left little fragments to explain the early Christian church. Um, not very many people wrote too much back then. The early church, a lot of them were slaves. Um, but a lot of more Gnostics, and eventually the Gnostics were driven out of the church as heresy, but in reality, we drove ourselves out of the church because um, we kind of don't want to have to be part of the church. Um, most of us just really kind of just don't like it because um, if your religion makes you hateful, then why would I want to be around you? Like, I have no problem being around a Christian that their religion doesn't turn them hateful, but I have a big problem being around religions like Sean, or religious people like Sean Hannity, who are hateful because of their religious worldview. So um, my understanding is that Jesus hung out with the prostitutes and they hung out with him. And so um, if someone's a sinner and they wanna be around someone, chances are that person's not a prick. So, um, if you were trying to be like Jesus, why would you be a prick? No matter no matter if you if you think it's an abomination or not. Um, so basically, the United States government has been covering up stuff to the point that it's um, they're pretty scared because I've scared the shit out of them, and uh, they're basically uh, about to get involved in the war, and they're going to be like, I didn't even I I'm not in the war. I'm not I don't I'm not. He, he's not. He's not in charge. He can't start a war. And I'm going. Actually, I've been. I. I. I I've been thinking about it for a long time. That um, I don't actually need the American government to start a war. Um, I, I can actually completely start World War Three without them. And then um, I have enough backers in the American government that are going to kind of just be like, all right, well, um, he's solid. Like, I mean, I. I kind of. I kind of trust his opinion. I've seen him long enough, and. He's not actually making us get involved. He's making us um, kind of referee. But um, if Russia chooses to deploy nukes outside of its own country, 
Um, obviously, we would need to get involved for sure and just nuke the shit out of them. Because personally, I don't really care. But the, I mean, the problem is we destroy the water, but we'd only destroy the water short term. Pretty sure that the water would only be like fucked up for like five years or something, maybe ten. Doesn't really matter. It'd be habitable again eventually. Um, people live in Hiroshima and Nagasaki right now. They're beautiful cities. All right, the Gnostics, early Christians. Um, they were part of the church. They said they had secret knowledge. They um, had secret text, texts like the Shepherd Hermes and all these weird texts. Apparently, Jesus was an asshole. Um, a little bit. Apparently Jesus was on a roof with another kid and he pushed the kid off the roof. Maybe that's what happened. And then he goes down and, and then the kid's like dead. And then everyone's like, Jesus did. And Jesus like brought the kid back to life. And the kid's, he's like, did I, did I kill you? And he, did I push you off the roof? And the kid's like, no, which apparently the kid would be lying. I can't really remember the story. I feel like I, I don't know a lot of stories. Um, or I feel like I, I, I miss a lot of details apparently, or I get mixed up on details. Algeria and Liberia, hmm. Yeah, Al Al Algeria, yeah, I don't even know anything about Algeria. Anyways, so I do, I do, but it would be near that, what is it, the Strait of Gibraltar or whatever? I don't know, It. I don't even know what it's called. Anyways, so, um, the Gnostics were part of the church, and then they kind of got kicked out, but we wanted to kick ourselves out, but then we were ruling over the church because we needed to overthrow the Roman Empire because we needed to take all their gold. And that's why eventually when Constantinople got overthrown by the Ottomans, um, Constantinople, Constantinople didn't even have that much gold because their gold was so watered down because we had already relocated it to probably the Americas. That's the story. Yeah, I'm pretty certain gold stashes, I don't know how many, but I'm pretty certain, like, it's kind of like, I'm pretty certain about West Texas, you know, because someone walked up to me and told me, it was like that, it's, it's kind of like that with the gold stashes, we, we have we have lots of treasure, Shangri-La, El, El, El Dorado, in Los Estados Unidos.